that's our last place. I can't race her. She's saying goodbye. She won't see these people anymore except that in passing. On the road, I'm still watching. just did that <laughs> that was just on my heart because i love that song it's so much fun and it's so true everybody there's nobody nowhere like the lord point blank period so all of that footage that y'all just watched that's about this much notice my fingers are together <laughs> that's about this much of what i do in a day I am not trying to put on no cape. I'm not trying to put on no crown. Because it's what I'm supposed to do. It's what I'm supposed to do. However, it can take a lot out of you. It can be exhausting. Especially with everything that's been going on in our world. We just have to find the strength sometimes to get through each day. And that's why I want to talk about this. I'm not just okay. I'm battle ready. And of course, as I stated before, that doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with saying I'm not okay. I'm talking about the journey because we will grow weary. We will get discouraged. We will be sad. We will cry, but we just can't stay there. I'm not just okay. I'm battle ready. Now, the scripture that we're going to start out with is Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 be. And it says, and let us run with perseverance. And in some translations, it says, and let us run with endurance, the race marked out for us. Let's talk about endurance for a second, because we have to have the endurance. Obviously, that word is a clear indication that we're going to have to push through some things. I just got to talking about the things that we'll go through. We'll grow weary. We'll feel broken. We'll cry. We'll do all that stuff, so we have to have endurance. Where do we get that endurance from? We get it from the Holy Spirit. That endurance does not come from you. I'm telling you right now, if I didn't have Jesus with the things that I've experienced in this journey, I would not still be here. I have to have Jesus. I have to have the power and the presence of his Holy Spirit to have the endurance to run this race. Because being battle ready 
is a result of our salvation. If you've accepted Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, and you've surrendered your life to him, you are battle ready. But we have to be intentional about how we walk this thing out. We have to be intentional about prioritizing God over everything else. And one of the first things we have to do, I'm just gonna talk about two points right now, possibly three, but we have to prepare. It's important to schedule. And it has to be a schedule that fits you. Because I'm not so much a schedule person. I'm pretty spontaneous. But I have learned as I've grown older how crucial it is to have a schedule that has your priorities on top, obviously. And then everything else that falls below that. Now, one of the things you have to do to prepare is also to have a circle of friends and family members that are like minded that will come alongside you to help you to strengthen and undergird you that are mature in the faith that can disciple you and that's really going to help you with your journey and there are those that may not have that resource and that's a reality so in that case you want to make sure that you are truly spending time in true worship with God and you're listening to wholesome music that glorifies God because not all of us have the ability to have a bunch of people around us. Some might just have one or two, which is sufficient. Some might not have any because everybody's circumstances is different. And, and I'm understanding of that. And then beyond that, we have to prioritize. And that's what I alluded to earlier. How do we prioritize? Well, honestly, it doesn't matter what you have going on throughout your day, sister, brother, whoever you is. If you don't put God ahead of yourself, if you don't make him the authority of your life when you get up in the morning, if he's not on the throne of your mind and your heart, then you've already started off wrong. Your priorities are already super jacked. And you're going to have struggles because the word of God tells us each day has enough trouble of its own. So if you lead out instead of calling for your father, please lead. Please order my steps. Please, Jesus, be a light to my, a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. If we don't start out like that, we've already started out wrong and we add trouble to our day. So it's super important before you do anything else, before you make a list, before you make a schedule, that needs to be the top priority. And and I'm going to leave you with this in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 29. And if you don't already have this, some of you might already have it put up somewhere. I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to do it and I'll show it to you in the next video. But put this on your wall. Isaiah 40, uh, chapter 40, verse 29. It says, but those who trust in the Lord, not in yourself, not in your baby daddy, not in your husband, not in your kids, not in your boss, not in the president. <laughs> But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. That's that endurance, y'all. That's that endurance that we need. Where does it come from? It comes from the Lord. And it goes on to say, they will walk and not faint. Don't get it twisted. Don't think that doesn't mean you won't be like, oh my goodness, I can't today. You'll have those days, but don't stay there. Remind yourself, and that's why I say, put this thing on your wall and read it and read it for all that it's worth. Don't be passive about it. Don't make it cliche. Take that thing into your heart and let it have its way. Let the Holy Spirit come in and do what he can do, but make that the priority. I'm gonna read it one more time. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 29. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not they will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Y'all have seen me cry on these videos. Y'all have heard my discouragement and my frustration. And I'm unapologetic because that's real life. That's just how it be sometimes. But I know 
whose I am. <laughs> and I know though I may grow weary, I may shed some tears, I may have some heartbreaks, I may go through a lot because each day has its own troubles. I know who I trust. I know who will pick me up. I'm not, I'm not picking myself up. I'm calling on the Lord. I'm doing what Peter did when he began to sink. Lord, help me. And he'll show up. So that's all I got for you all. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that video because I just kind of wanted to share just a little bit. Yeah, I promise you just a little bit because if I showed you everything I did on that day, because I was actually showing you what was happening throughout that day, but I just literally showed you that much of it. You'd be like, how in the world is she doing that? God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, being intentional about preparing and prioritizing. That's it, y'all. So I got more next Friday, 3 p.m. I hope you'll be here. Please share. Please like. Please subscribe. Not because I want you to say, yay, Terry. No, because we're a community of believers that need to come together to help one another. But I love you all so much. I just give God all the glory, honor, and praise just because I can get back up because of him. So anyway, I hope that this was a blessing to you. I really do. And it would be awesome if some of you would just take a picture and post it in the comments of, your, of that scripture, Isaiah 40, 29. And when you read it, like I said, don't be passive about it. Don't make it a cliche. It has to be the truth that just permeates, because it is the truth that permeates your heart and your mind and leads you out every single day. So. Treat the word of God like oxygen, because if you do not, you will suffocate in the worries and the distractions of this world. Are you battle bread? Today is a good day to say yes to Jesus. Tomorrow is not promised. And I hope that I see you all again next Friday at 3 p.m. Be battle ready, because I'm not just okay. I am battle ready. Everybody. Real quick. There's nobody nowhere like the Lord.